Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part 2, Financial Decision Making. In this session, we'll discuss about the decision analysis. Decision analysis on uh, how to maximize the profits of a corporate, uh, making of different types of decisions in which we know that uh, SMS AM sell or further process, make or buy, uh, special order pricing, adding or dropping a segment or a product line, and maximizing the contribution per unit using the limiting factor. We discussed in the prior sessions uh, about special order pricing and make or buy decisions. In this session, we'll discuss about sell or further process. Sell or further process. A product can be sold at a particular point or it can be additionally processed and sold to get a higher price. So we make decisions whether um, a product is to be sold at a particular point or can be further processed and sold to get a additional profit. Let's see in detail. SMSAM, special order pricing, make or buy decisions. Now we are in sell or further process topic. Sell or further process. A product can be sold at a particular point, like say for example, we have a joint operation. From this joint operation, we, produce, we produced two different types of products, identified and separated. This is a joint operation. We spend material, labor, when the products are combined. When we identified at this point and separated them, they are now product A and product B. Different products having different selling prices. So the point at which we identify the products from the joint operation is called split up point. Split up point. So at split up point we identified there are two different products like petrol, diesel. Yeah, we separated them. We have a selling price here. We can sell at this point itself or the product can be further processed and sold. Now the question is whether we should sell the product at this point or further process and sell at this price. So to know this, we should also bring an analysis of this cost of further processing, what cost we should incur to get this price. And this is what the topic is, whether a product is to be sold at a particular point or can be further processed and sold. Mostly this kind of decision take place in a joint product decisions. Joint product. Joint product is nothing but a product which is derived from the joint operation where two or more products are produced in a joint operation. We identify that there are different products produced from this joint operation and we separate them at split up point and we call them as joint products. So this is a split up point where you identified and separated them. Until then, we incurred this amount combinedly for all the three different types of products. Say for example, we spent $30,000 here. This is the cost incurred for all the three products. Product one, product two, product three. We identified only after certain stage where we reach split of point stage. Then we separated them. Now the question is whether this product can be further processed and sold or it has to be sold here itself. Okay, so we'll discuss in detail about the additional processing cost and the decision whether to sell or to split a point or further process itself. So what we need to do is we need to collect the information about the incremental revenues 
and the incremental cost. Let me give you a small example here. I received product A and product B from joint operation. Product A can be sold at $20 at this point itself, but marketing team says that no, 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 this product can be further processed, further beautified and can be sold at $35. Now the question comes that whether the product is to be sold without further process or it has to be further processed and sold. The incremental revenue here is $35 minus $20 that equals to $15. So when you take a decision that it has to be sold after further processing, you have an incremental revenue of $15. But you need to spend some money here to further beautify it, further process it. So what is the cost? Say for example, the cost of further processing is say $8. The incremental cost is $8. So the general rule, whether a product is to be further processed and sold or sold at split of point itself, you should always see that whether the incremental revenue is greater than incremental cost. The additional revenue of $15 is greater than the additional cost of $8. Therefore, this product A can be further processed and sold. Now let's work on the product two, product B. Product B can be sold at say for example $12 at split of point. At this point itself the customer is ready to buy it $12. But marketing seems is, team says that it can be further processed and sold at $20. Hmm. So the incremental revenue of product B is $20 minus $12, $8, $8. And costing team says that to further process this product, we need to spend $9.5 per unit. Mm. So the incremental cost is now $9.5. See, to get an additional revenue of $8, we have to incur an additional cost of $9.5. Is it worth further processing? No. So the product is not to be further processed. Instead, it is to be sold at split of point. So product B is to be sold at split of point itself and product A can be further processed and sold. Why? Because it is giving us an additional profit of 15 minus 8, $7 per unit sold. Let's take uh, this example here. This example says that there's a joint cost of $100,000 in a common production process and we identify these products at a split of point now we call these products as product a product b we can sell product a at seventy thousand dollars here product b can be sold at fifty thousand dollars but if i further process i can sell it for one twenty thousand dollars so the incremental revenue is $50,000 whereas the additional processing cost is $40,000 so incremental revenue the additional benefit is greater than the additional cost therefore product A can be further processed why should I sell the product at split of point itself when I'm getting $10,000 extra profit okay I'm just now additionally processing this and selling at uh, you know, $120,000, booking an additional profit of $10,000. Product B can be sold at $50,000 at split of point, but if it is further processed and sold, it can be sold at $65,000. So giving an additional incremental revenue of $15,000, when it is compared with the additional cost, it is $20,000. So there will be a loss of $5,000 if you additionally process and sell it. So it is not going to be further processed. Product B is to be sold at a split of point. Product A is further processed and sold. So you take decisions based on this information and approve whether a product is to be further processed and sold or sold at split of point itself.
this is the end of the session on um, a product can be further processed or sold or can be sold at split or point itself. Um, we'll discuss uh, more about the joint cost allocation and other topics in the next session. Till then, have a good time. See you in the next session. Goodbye.